Hey there, Zompar here, and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. So we did a Sonic level, a Knuckles level, and now it's time for the Tails levels. Uh, these levels do uh, make it worth repeating them because you unlock more power-ups and then it lets you get more stuff going. Starting with the boss fight. It's like you don't even get to experience this stuff beforehand. I will say for GameCube era, that is some beautiful this time water. I'll let you go, but the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. So just bear with me on the video quality for these because again this is from the GameCube era. And if I try to record in like 1080 I have a feeling that this would turn into a bunch of doom. So you come over here, get on this. And you can whistle at this pipe for an animal. Ram. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, we can't go that way because we don't have the. This level is mostly just murder. And since you're murdering robots, you are just, uh, you're getting a bunch of cores. Uh, if you go up there when you have the hover ability, it's worthwhile, but right now, we just need to go straight through the level. Uh, this is one of the levels that you can't really get everything because of... Uh, not having the right upgrades. Monkey. Monkey, monkey, monkey. Just max top out my health.
the game is unimpressed by my performance so far. If you had hover, you could fly over there and then get this unicorn. Unfortunately, we don't have hover. Again, they're just very unimpressed by my scores. here. There's iron chest behind that. If you see it in that corner, you can just whoop, open the gate, but you can't get past that. I did it. But first run throughs don't have been too fantastic. can do the uh, Chow Garden with a character, you do have to find the Chow Key at least once, then you can go from stage to like two. So you can pick whoever you want. But you first have to get them there first. Chow Kindergarten, uh, if you're in stage select, you can actually come out here with the Chow and uh, go to this little place. You can uh, figure out what stats they're the best at with the health center. And I think you can name them. I don't remember if you can name them at the fortune teller if it's the principal. Oh, yeah, you can name them at the fortune teller. Uh, principal, I think, gives you advice on how to do chow stuff. Yep. Not gonna do that. And then uh, the classroom can teach them how to do various skills. In the block market, you can buy items. Dark heart. Dark makes them evil or dark. Uh, heart is what you use for child breeding. Some chows prefer these fruits. And then strong and tasty seeds give you different types. All these give you just different types of fruit. Okay. The more emblems you get, the more rarer the items that show up are. Including very rare, like, a shiny chow eggs. And it's not like a... No. Uh, it's not like shiny Pokemon. It's just that they have various colors that are available, and some of them have like sparkles in them, some of them are metallic looking. Those you have to get in different ways. You don't know how to swim, you should not. Become like monkey. More like monkey.
Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the cat. Please remove the unibrow. No, it did not remove the unibrow. It looks so weird right now. I will fix you at some point, I promise. But run looks to be a higher level than power at the very least. Okay. As always, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, but keep watching. The series will go by very fast. But thank you all for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.